29 year old Adam Ward 5'10 145 and a 72 inch reach. So the fans continue to work their way into the Grand Theater. The lovely Emily Miller worth the price of admission as she gets us started here in round number one in the featherweight division. Rick Glenn in the black trunks taking on Adam Ward in the red trunks. You ready? I need, I need to get in. You ready? Fight! There you go, Rick. Almost didn't recognize Rick Glenn rocking the handlebar stash. Yeah, and, and, and minus his belt he used to have. This is there a former world champion. Right? Oh, Glenn with a lead left shot. Touches Ward right on the chin to start things off. Well, this is a win-win potential fight for Adam Ward. If he can come in here and get a strong performance against Rick Glenn, he's going to put himself in a nice position in the featherweight division and a nice way to start out with a big body slam takedown of the former champ. Like he was a sack of potatoes. Yeah. I mean, Ward just scooped Glenn up and dropped him down. Glenn really hasn't moved since. He's in an okay position with these double underhooks, but he can't have his back glued to the mat. He needs to either go in this position, put it up against the fence, don't let him pass you, Rick. And at the very least, get to a hip. Oh, don't let him pass you. Nice. Nice. Be doing okay. Come up, come up. There you Boy, go. Adam Ward seems very motivated early on. It's a long fight, Rick, three, five-minute rounds. But right now, Adam Ward is absolutely being the aggressor. And Rick Glenn maybe just being a little more patient, figuring this thing out. But that big body slam is he's, looks like Ward's trying to work his way to side control. Well, the bad news for Rick Glenn is Adam Ward is traditionally a slow starter. Yeah. So if this is the slowest he's going to move in this contest, Rick Glenn's really got to get things going. Come on, Rick. We need, it. We need movement. We need Regardless of what anybody says, Todd, the best way to win a race is to still get out in front and never give it up. Because there's something to be said for momentum. Great escape there by Glenn. Now he's got the tie clinch. But it's Ward that's still doing the attack. Adam Ward actually has more professional fights on his resume than Rick Glenn. A total of 21, four KOs and five subs. But Rick Glenn, right at a little higher level, the former champion, of course, has 19 fights on his professional resume. 15, three and one, eight KOs and five submissions. A moment ago, Ward just threw a jab to the body and a straight to the head. There you go. Let your hands loose. Very, very effective technique. There you go, circle. You take on a southpaw. We got everything. We got everything. We got it. goes back to it again. You're doing good. Walk him down. There you go. Good. Hey, like Rick Glenn back where he's probably the most comfortable as a stand-up striker. He's got some lethal contact in that left hand. It's cocked and ready to go. Adam Ward doing a good job of continually moving the head, changing positions. Todd, when Glenn was world champion, his contests were all contested over five five-minute periods. Now that he is not the champion, he is in a three five-minute situation. The point being, this pace that he is doing right now works if you're in there for five rounds but in a three round atmosphere sure. like tonight he's a little bit slow he's got to get some more output going I can tell you that with only three minutes into this match this amount of output is not going to get it done so Rick Glenn possibly being a little cautious here early on pacing himself maybe a little too slow in a three round fight here in the featherweight division of the World Series of Fighting meanwhile Adam Ward and the red trunks seems very active got off to a great start but it was Rick Glenn's escape in round number one early on that really has been the major highlight of this fight. Glenn's got him pinned on the fence here. If he can change elevation, get his hands locked under his hips, which it looks like he's done, should just be a matter of standing him up. What goes up must come down. Glenn does not have a good position here. Even though he's behind him, this is in a great position. He's got to sink below his hips. Looked like for a second there he was going to try to take the back and sink in a rear naked choke on Adam Ward, not to be, and it's back to the clinch against the cage. Toddy got greedy. He got greedy. He tried to lock up the choke before getting to position. His hips were too high that whole time. He could have sunk his hips. It may be a different story here. Ward momentarily there with a single on the fighter's break as we go under 53 seconds to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Throw your hands, throw your hands, Rick. Throw your hands and relax. Control, okay, control the cage. Hey, we're committing. We're really committing. Constant chatter coming control from the, the corner cage, of Rick Glenn. You're doing good. Top level fighting. Good. Good. Walk him down. There you go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. 
Play with them, Rick. Play with them. Play with them. There you go. Move your head. Move your head, Rick. You're standing still. Move your feet. Move your head. There it's you amazing go. how much you can in the corner. Go, relax. Even if it's not your corner. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good. Good. As you fight, Jay, do you ever listen to the corner of your Relax, opponent and say, what? What are you talking about? I do. I, I absolutely do. And I, I haven't always agreed with their assessments. And at other times, I think, you know, he's got that right. I hope I hope my opponent's not listening. Final seconds ticking away here in round number one. We will go to a second round in the featherweight division. Rick Glenn and Adam Moore. That was a close round. Yeah. Good. Good job, brother. Good job. Good. Good job. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. There you go. Get a drink. Good. Good job. Good job. You're doing good in there, okay? You're doing good. I just need you to move your head more. He's moving his head, but he's slowing down, okay? I need you more jabs. More jabs to keep him away from you because he's trying to get close. And that take down? Yeah, that was a good takedown, but when he's getting close like that, I need you to... Uh, he's pulling me in good. Yeah, he's pulling you in real good. That's why I need you to move your feet. Focus on moving your feet, okay? Okay. Focus on your footwork. Because he's going to open up because all of his punches are slow and they're only getting slower, okay? One more. Three more mark. Good. Let's go. Good job. So quick work in the corner of Rick Glenn. You heard him say it. Punches Round are two, slow, Rick. bring Round him in, two, he Rick. wants him to move his Rick. head more. Go, Rick. Move your feet, there you go. We're moving. We're moving. Good way to start that round by Adam Ward. Move your feet. A lot of guys walk yeah. out and touch gloves. Yeah. He walked out and punched him right Skip in the head. Down. There you go. There you go, Skip down. Nice. Move your feet, there you go. Cut him up, cut him up, Rick. I can already go. tell by nice. Rick Glenn's mannerisms that he is yeah, feeling nice a little bit of urgency in this round. Yeah. He's already Good got job. a little there bit more go. pep in his step. There you go. Needs to pull down on that head a little more. There we go. He's giving up some height, so to raise that yeah, knee, he's really got to pull on the head. There you go, Pombo. Pombo underneath, doing good. Guys are in a 50-50 position, meaning they both have the same tie-up. One guy's got over, one guy's under. This is what Moore took him down with in the first round. Big slam came in round number one, as Chael pointed out, picked Glenn up like a sack of potatoes and threw him down. This time, Glenn seems more to the wise as he pushes Ward up against the cage again. Chael, I don't know, you product of what, the 70s or 80s or something like that? Did you ever rock the long, flowing hair when you were fighting, or it seemed like it'd be more of a a more of a hassle to deal with. Yeah, yeah, I've always yeah, thought it seemed yeah, like a hassle, though I never me. did that myself. I guess what I'm trying to say, if you're, you're going to rock the long Cross flowing face, Samson locks, you might want to go Uriah go. Faber and just Brad. braid that up or something. So that it's not in your exactly. eyes. It's a very fair point. Yes, it can get right into a guy's eyes and block his vision. Oh my goodness, that's the biggest shot of the night. Adam Ward takes a big lift and that has got to be it. That is it. Our referee didn't see it. He wasn't even going to stop that. Rick Glenn knew he was out. One for the money and two for the show as Rick Glenn puts Adam Ward down and out. Terrific sportsmanship there by Rick yeah. Glenn, Todd. It could have been a referee third. referee did not know what he was looking at. That's the third fight tonight. The referee has not known what he's looking at. He took the initial shot, which dropped him. And I think at that point, Adam Warren was stunned and not all there. Rick Glenn landed a second one as he was loading up for that third one. There was no one home at Adam Ward's house. He was ready to receive it. And Rick Glenn, give him some credit, as Chael pointed out. He just said, hold the phone. Wow. Wow, that is, that, that is not acceptable. That is the third time tonight this referee has not known what he is watching and somebody could have really gotten hurt on that one. Yep, yep. And I don't see a commissioner in the building coming in here and asking the referee why we got a guy asleep. You're the closest to him, and you're the only guy that doesn't know it. That is not appropriate. Well, the first one, Chael, was absolutely, as you said, the biggest shot of the night. It was a punisher. Good sprawl there. And then once Adam Ward was down, as Rick Glenn postured up, here's where the pile of bricks came in and catching the jawbone of Adam Ward. Right? Throws the leg Boom. aside right there. That was the first one, and here he's in recovery. There's the second one. He's not there. There could have been two more oh, behind that. No question. Good for Rick Glenn. Thank you, Rick Glenn. And kind of a come from behind victory, sure. Todd. I oh, really yeah. thought that, that, that Ward 
uh, won that first round and was holding his own here in the second. Especially the way he started both rounds. Here's where he goes against. He pushes against the cage, maybe looking for an up kick right here. And Glenn steps to the side and comes over. And oh, that first left was there. That was a second. That was. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know what the what the hesitation was. The man's hands were down. The eyes were open, but glossy. Shut that down there. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends at one minute and 27 seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout, Rick the Gladiator. Glenn.